Welcome. Good afternoon. Good morning. Good evening. Good morning, sir. Good day. And madame. Buena sera, buena mera, buena... What's I'm going to call it? Buena cerveza. Uh, uh, as Here you can see from my um, uh, impromptu extemporaneous reading matter that I just happen to have to hand, this is the Financial Times How to Spend It magazine. The and finest. We are doing a special broadcast for the readers of said publication. And the great thing is it has the headline Eternal Glamour on the front. Which, which could very well be us, or is talking about us, or Applies just the to family us. as a whole. The whole you know. I mean, basically, we are eternal and we are glamorous. Indeed. Anyway, moving swiftly along, we have, as um, the nature of Falks and Sons tend to dictate, um, a cigar. Trinidad Fondadoris, familiar to all of you, diplomatic gift, turned, uh, turned commercial line in the late turned, 1990s. Turned Christmas present, of course. And if you want to buy the cigar smoker in your life, a Christmas present, you could do worse than the Trinidad mark. The Trinidad. The Trinidad. <laughs> Here we are. And um, so this Trinidad Fundadores. Trinidad Fundadores. We, we, we are going to, we, we're going to do something to it because, uh, you know... As, as well, for the, for the time-pressed executives yes. in, the, in the busy world that we inhabit today of 24-hour availability with the internet and what have you. The intranets. And, and, and email and um, yeah, we're going to, We're going to do as the great Edward Sahaki and does. Edward Sahakian, by the way, proprietor of Davidoff, dear friend of mine and guru dear to me, employer of Maximilian. Yeah. yeah. And um, we're going to create a short well, Fundadoris. A, a demi, well, he regularly does it with Cohiba Lancero, so a demi Lancero, a demi Fundadoris. A demi, he recommended actually, I spoke to him at length about this, probably at greater length than it would take us to actually smoke the short Fundadoris. There you go. Um, that the 38 ring gauge of the Cohiba Lanceros was risking just a little bit, perhaps, of blockages. The two sixty-fourths of an inch worth of But that blockages. extra two sixty-fourths of an inch, reader, viewer... It's very, it's very, you know... Germain, Germain, yeah. Germain. But here but we anyway, are, and we're going to... So, I'm going to use Edward a scissors. a 60-40 cut. And I'm going to use the scissors of a, of a steel uh, surgical, surgical steel. blade. Surgical steel! So Mate, a, could you a mind surgeon, agitating a few of my yes, legs or something Yes, a surgeon late to the theatre can just... It's for that, again, the, t- the time press cigar. medical executive can cut a cigar and then go straight into surgery. Yes, um, and so 60-40. So what about... Oh, can it even... I will push it through like this. What about that? Yeah, that's about right, I that's think. about right. Yeah, maybe a bit. Yes, yeah, yes. Okay, that, off yeah. you go. And we're off. Oh! oh, okay, that's yours. Remember to smoke it, because you've got to talk, explain this to the, the viewer yes. while about the leaves and the way they mm. point down the cigar. Mm. So you may need to lick it a bit just to stick the, uh, the wrapper leaf down, but um, you must always smoke well. You should smoke the cigar from, obviously, from, from the end that isn't cut, but with this it's quite hard to tell which end is which, so you must remember, because there's a natural development in flavour throughout the leaf, and the part of the leaf that's closest to the stalk of the tobacco plant uh, is nearer the head of the cigar, uh, in theory. Beautifully explained. Danke. Yeah, I mean, that, and now, the reason I would advocate this method as opposed to setting fire to a cigar normally and then allowing it to go out and to smoke the other half later after your business lunch, for example, or business, business lunch, business meeting, um, is that it's never quite the same. The smoke passing through it, the heat of the flame, it is almost as if the tobacco has been cured again and you just get a, so- a stronger, less harmonious, rougher taste. What's that like, Max? I will tell you. Very nice. Couldn't be better. Mm. I think I have to wait a little longer just to get the full flavour and give you an honest opinion. But I mean, I've smoked it many times before, it's a great cigar. Um, but I've always been intrigued, uh, you know, to try one time smoking a cigar from the opposite end and see w- whether you'd actually notice a difference. In theory, it would get lighter. But the Benjamin Button up. approach. You, yeah. live your life, you live your life backwards, smoke your cigar backwards. But this is the Sahakito size. There's a, look at that smoke ring there, look at that. Did I blow that? Yeah. God, I'm a genius. So. I, just did that. A genius. I just did that without even realising mm. it. God, I must, what other, what other clever feats can I accomplish uh, in an unconscious manner? Well, 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 we'll put you to the test. We'll have to film you for a full 24 hours. Look at it go. Look at that. Mm. 
So this would accompany what? A coffee brilliantly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. An Irish coffee is the business businessmen enjoy. You might have a Kopi Luwak. Yeah, I may have it may have a coffee. I Luwak might just have some sort of ristretto or something like that just to power me up in the mornings. Yes, or a Nutribullet. This would go uh, well with your Nutribullet. Yes, go well with my Nutribullet. Mm. It would, it's a natural product. You can even blend the fundadores up with your Nutribullet. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, we're, what are we going to be going to enjoy these cigars? Maybe watch a bit of The Crown. You never know. What a new... This is what is so good. But, but, uh, but now, who else? Who else did these? Um, do you remember Sir David Tang? Mm. He mm. used to do well, this. No, I don't. I don't think I ever met. You never met Sir David Tang. I when when your mother and I first went to Hong Kong in about 1992, when it was still part of our empire. Ha ha. Um, Sir David, as he wasn't then, yeah, I think he got knighted later. Lent us very sweet to his driver and his open top Rolls Royce. Um, and um, his great trick, he, he had the cigar uh, franchise in the Far East. His great trick was to create the punch Churchill by basically chopping a double Corona in half like I this. I see. Well, so that's, 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 that's yeah, quite a good it's idea. Quite, so, I mean, there is a sort of interesting subculture in chopping down cigars. Yeah, a lot of people frown upon it, but I think it's, it can be quite interesting. And also, you know, it's better if you're not going to smoke the entire thing to chop it before lighting it. Otherwise, you'll get that acrid. Well, that's what I was talking about the, earlier. And yeah. You just never get rid of that, even if you expel. Now, one time I was sitting next to the minister, now mistress of presidents. Um, oh, who was the one before the last one? I can't remember anyway. But anyway, she was giving me great advice. Me too much. She was giving me great advice on um, how to clear the... Uh, acrid fumes from the uh, half-smoked cigar. What did that include? What well, basically, you blew the smoke out the other end. So the, yeah. the, if, you put a, if, you put a light, if you put a lighted match or a lighter in front of that end and blow, you get a blue flame until it sort of clears out. Like anyway. a flamethrower. But all of that rubbish and misinformation can be avoided by the simple application of a surgical steel cutter to the 6040 yes. end of the Trinidad. There we go, and Thus, I'm thoroughly enjoying mine. we solve that great riddle of having two cigars in one. Yeah, well, there you go. Could we, we could even make three cigars out of this. We could, but that wouldn't be very advisable. I might be pushing it. I think that might be. We'd that need could some... be my own creation. Well, maybe we, maybe we do that for part two of this broadcast, seeing as it was in, in just a broadcast of such brevity. Yeah, I think we've even gone, gone, gone over time. So, without further ado... Or a do. A do. We will say uh, we're fighting the virus one corona at a time. And thank you for watching. Thank you.